Today, I am Michelle Ang, and with my co-researcher, Dr. Joy Rabo, we will be briefly presenting our study entitled Effect of Liquidity, Profitability, and Leverage on Firm Value of Philippine Publicly Listed Service Companies During COVID-19 Pandemic. Firm value maximization is the primary financial goal of every profit-oriented organization. Thus, studies on factors affecting firm value abound in business research. Liquidity, profitability, and leverage are some of the variables that are often found to have an effect on firm value. As the COVID-19 pandemic continues to have an influence on organizations through potentially hindering their economic performance, researchers are advised to look into the conditions, industries, and firm-specific settings that might reduce organizational performance. It was, however, noted that recent studies dealing with the economic impact of COVID-19 focuses on the economy as a whole rather than on an industry level. These are some of the recent studies that focus on the relationships and effects of firm value on liquidity, profitability, leverage, and firm size. A few of these also look into the impact of various industries during COVID-19 pandemic. If you will notice, Kepramari, Kepramareni, Ding, Chin, He, Gu, and Shong all are done during 2020. It was observed that there are little to no studies on the firm value of a particular Philippine industry during the COVID-19 pandemic. And given that the services sector showed positive contribution to the Philippine economy from April to July 2020 through decreased unemployment rate despite the pandemic, this study aims to determine whether liquidity, profitability, and leverage remain to have a significant effect on firm value using data of Philippine publicly listed service companies during pandemic. Thus, this study uses three independent variables, namely liquidity measured by current ratio, profitability measured by return on equity, and leverage measured by debt ratio. Meanwhile, firm value is a dependent variable which is measured by market capitalization. Firm size of the or the natural logarithm of total assets is added in the framework as a controlling variable. Um, there were 63 publicly listed service companies during the period covered, and the final sample size of the study was reduced to 30 service companies. Some of the companies that were excluded are those that um, whose trading were suspended during the period covered, those that have um, adopted a non-calendar period, and those that have incomplete data. In addition, um, some observations were also ex excluded to meet the, regress uh, the assumptions of the regression model. Um, the regression analysis was then run in SPSS to come up with the following economic regression model shown on the slide. So where FB stands for firm value, LIQ stands for liquidity, profit stands for profitability, LEV stands for leverage, and size stands for firm size. So Pearson's correlation showed that the prof profitability, leverage, as well as firm size are all significantly related with firm value. Regression analysis results show that predictors explain 65.7% of the variance. The following formula shown on the slide is the result of the regression model. So the results showed that and revealed that profitability and leverage have positive significant effect on firm value. This empirical finding also supports partial evidence to the validity of the signaling theory, which predicts the positive impact of profitability and leverage on firm value. High profitability and debt financing provide signals of fav um, favorable prospect in the future, leading to investors to demand for the company's stock, resulting to an increase in a firm value. Influence of the firm size was also found to be significant. This study recommends to Philippine service firms wishing to improve their firm value during a pandemic to emphasize more on profitability and leverage rather than on liquidity, which was found to have no significant relationship or effect to firm value. Firms can focus on improving profitability through setting appropriate prices to maximize revenues, as well as managing their costs properly. 
at the same time, managing properly their assets and funds to maximize shareholders' wealth in order to increase leverage can aid companies in ensuring that there will be less adverse impact on their firm value during pandemic. To future researchers, it is suggested to extend the study to include a longer time period, a different industry, or a wider scope and other variable measures. The purpose of future researchers can focus on comparison across industries and regions and possibly employ more advanced statistical techniques to be able to predict future financial indicators of various industries. That ends our presentation. Thank you so much for listening.